What's up, everybody? It's Boy Zemian here to bring you part 39 of our Let's Play of Sly 3 Honor Among Thieves in the last part. We did things. Oh, that's right. We got Crusher. We got that uh, awesome squid thing. The giant sea monster, the Kraken. He's on our side. And now we're about to head off to save Penelope in Operation Reverse Double Cross. Unfortunately, we're on the incorrect side of the map in order to start that mission, so... Once I can get Sly up here to the pirate wheel, we're off. All right, we made it back, finally. Jeez, that was a long, long trip. That probably could have been not as long if I had actually went to the... I don't know. It's all right. You guys don't have to suffer through it Battle like I did. Stations. We're headed into action. It's going to be tight sailing in here, Sly. Keep an eye on the rocks. Now, this is what we've been waiting for. We're going to get our battle with the... The Black Chick... I, I want to say... I want to say this boat was called the Black Chicken. Um, my battle strategy is, uh, hit him, and then don't get hit, and it's working so far. You gotta give me credit for that right there. Alright, let's get a second broadside on him using our new shark cannonballs. Damn, we got two hits on him, he hasn't hit us once, and it looks like he's trying to make a comeabout for, uh, our sail, so I'm gonna try to get on his back. If I can get on his back... I'm running him into a wall right now, which is not a good thing. You run him into a wall, he's going to turn, he's going to face you. I'm not going to get a backside on him, but I still can get a half broadside in. Nice! Wait, Took out his mast. Ram him and jump on board. So, here we go, aboard Lafouille's ship for a confrontation. Cutting through that plank. <laughs> really, Cooper? A bad choice boarding a ship packed with over a hundred pirates. Sure your cane is up to the task of cracking all our skulls. I don't know about all of you, but yours, I'm sure it can manage. Yeah. Restrain this man and keep your distance from the enemy vessel. This smells of lubber trickery. Take heart, boys. Been a while since we witnessed the good plank walking. Oh no, not the plank. That's the worst pirate thing ever. Alright, so let's make him angry. We need to insult his creativity, of course. Making me walk the plank? You're the pinnacle of creativity, Lefui. Not creative? I'm the smartest man in the seven seas, you... You slanderous scabbard! <laughs> you always go after a man's creativity when he thinks he's so high and mighty. Slanderous scabbard was pretty bad. What can I insult? Uh, make fun of his pirate That's talk? That's the best insult you can think of. I could do better in a coma, while speaking a foreign language, to deaf apes. Your wordsmithing is preposterous, presumptuous, and patently premeditated. Time to put that slack tongue to use, like giving the shark something to chew on. That one didn't work. Uh, let's do this one Stop instead. It. You're hurting my feelings. More name calling like that, and I'm leaving. Chief action movie dialogue won't get you out of this one, Cooper. You're as good as dead, or my name's not Lefwi. That actually was some pretty cheap action you got movie a dialogue. Act for pirate talk. Put two nonsense words together, and pow! Scary pirate name calling. Bah! You might be quick with the put downs, but who's got the hidden girl? Ha ha ha! Me! You'll never find her! You sure about that, my friend? Because I think we'll find her right about now. Alright, Penelope Angle, I want to look at her skill at hiding her. Yeah, I suppose she'd have to keep her locked up. After all, if she ever got away, you'd never get a date. It is true, I have a strong personality. But I've never had a problem with the ladies, especially when I have a broadside aimed at their sailboat. Uh, savvy! Wrong button, alright. Uh, actually, ability... no, Hidden. skill at hiding her. A fellow sharp as you couldn't hide a stick in the forest. I've got some skill in hiding my blade in lover's guts. Fancy a demonstration? I was wrong again, alright. Penelope. Girl tough as that will free yourself by tomorrow morning. 
then come and steal your wallet. Ha! That chickadee will never escape a skull keep. She's locked up in irons, and there she stays until she agrees to love me, despite all my faults. Now be the time sharks launched on your parts. You're the captain. Yes. All right, we know she's at the Skull Keep. Luckily, we had a plan set out. Step There's on, Murray. Murray. They've got Penelope locked up in the Skull Keep. Check. What? Murray with the, the sailboat. You away. knew it was going to happen. Now, we're going to get shot at quite a bit by, like, everybody and everything, and there's going to be lots of explosions around us. Luckily, this harbor isn't too hard to traverse. Murray does a very good job of, you know, keeping himself in line. He's able to... He's actually really maneuverable for how fast he can get this boat going. I'll make a run for Penelope. You keep the boat safe. We're going to need it for the escape. Safe as a baby! Now get moving! All right, we're off for the skull keep, only we can't go through the front door, we gotta get up to the top where uh, Penelope will be kept, bad dog, I don't want to fight you. So that means taking the long way around, the same way that Penelope and Bentley took the first time we were here, and I swear it feels like it was a long time ago since we've been on that mission with uh, Penelope, where you know she went blind and crap, it was a fun mission. Except for the part where I had to do the RC cars and then lead her back, and it's not good, and apparently there's a truck outside. The truck is loud. I don't like it when the truck is loud. Let's just keep jumping along here using the... Awesome. I always love the double jump in this game. It's a great way, kind of like in Sonic Generations, how they added, whoa, 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 the dog's following me, the dog is following me. Like I said about the double jump, it's a good way to just fix yourself. Kind of like in Sonic Generations, I always love the little... A uh, little homie attack move where you can just correct yourself a little bit. So, not that door. Let's head over to this door. I guess this is where Penelope would be. Makes more sense. Oh, there, he is. there she is, right there, right for us to take her. Penelope, that you? It's time for a rescue. Lafui. <laughs> He's good. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Fell for it, hook, line, and sinker. Thinks he can outmaneuver the smartest man on the seven seas. <laughs> Not hardly. First mate Jones. Aye, aye, sir. Take a battalion of your best men and raid the Cooper ship. There's sure to be some lingering rats aboard. What? Uh, sir? Don't cut me off while I'm speaking, or I'll cut you off from breathing. The Cooper ship is making for the open water, sir. Hmm. Rats indeed. Make full say what one must we got. If they make it out to sea, we'll never catch them. Aye, aye, sir. Bentley! Slides all blown up and the police boat is gaining on you! Keep it together and meet me at the mouth of the harbor. If I can get into deeper waters, I should be able to give this guy the slip. But slide! Keep it together! We're not done yet. Blast! They'll make it out to sea in this wind. Jones! Aye, sir. Load the cannons and prepare to come about. If the breeze don't help, we'll fall back on iron and powder. Fire! Damn, one shot. Our boat sucks. A boss there! Afraid you didn't quite make it out of the harbor. <laughs> Prepare to surrender your vessel. Sorry, Lafui, but I'm sure this water is deep enough. Deep enough to be your grave. Guru, crush her now! And that's why we recruited the giant squid. Oh, my thunder! Just crush her! Crush her! We're doomed! Ha, no, da, da! Horibia! Good to see you, too. I'll focus on freeing Penelope. You take care of any pirates that might come up on deck. Use the left and right analog sticks to control your tentacles. Then hit the R1 button and L1 button to smash, guys. Now, the plan all along was to have Bentley try to uh, take care of the pirate ship level, because obviously if Penelope wasn't in the school keep, she was going to be on the pirate ship. We already knew this. So, with Sly going aboard and, you know, trying to figure out the plan, Bentley kind of figured that he'd be lying to us. So, that's where the reverse double-cross comes in, where if 
Uh, Lafui tells us she's in the Skull Keep. We assume that she's on the pirate ship and then send Sly to make him think that we think that she's at the Skull Keep, therefore lowering his guard and then using Crusher to get on board the pirate ship and save Penelope. If you followed any of that, I applaud you, because <laughs> I did a terrible job of explaining it. But let's just say Bentley's a smart man and he knows what he's doing. So we do have to do this whole little Crusher sequence. I never liked this Crusher sequence, because... I don't know, I can never keep... I'm a pretty one-tracked mind type guy, where if I'm doing one thing with one analog stick, I'm trying to do a similar thing with the other analog stick. This one, you're trying to keep your eyes on two spots at once while uh, moving around the tentacles. One goes with his R, the right analog stick, the other one with the left, and the L1 and R1 buttons smash people. I mean, there's actually pretty much a good pattern you can follow here to make sure none of these guys hit Bentley, you know, if you're smart. I'm not smart. Damn. And I don't know what it is, but the damn shadows never seem to be quite correct. I can never seem to hit the dog I'm aiming for using the shadows. The shadows, they're a little off. But like I said, there's actually a decently set pattern. They usually send two from one side and then two from the other side. You can get a decent... There's a decent pattern for a little while. They do change it up eventually. And when they do, it sucks. But if Bentley would hurry up with this last damn lock, we could get Penelope out of here. We could use Crusher to leave. We don't even need our dead pirate ship. Now, actually, we could probably steal the Fleece pirate ship if we did this right. Fortunately, Crusher... Okay, I'm looking at two more. There we go. We got Penelope back. Finally. Bentley! I... Yo... All of your squids, or that girl get it. Back off, Guru. I'll deal with this guy. Hi. That you have. Set me up to think I'd outsmarted you. Then pulled me into the deep water with this beast. I tip me hat to ye. You. You're the cleverest man I've ever had the pleasure of beating. You getting this lie? Yeah, I've got some perspective on the situation. A past! Ha! Guru! Get Sly! He can't swim! Hi, shipmate, but who'll be helping? Nobody touches that turtle but me. Me pirate flower finally blooms, yet he'd favor this cripple over me, the smartest man on the seven seas. Oh, I do like smart guys. And he beat you at your own game. You tell me who's more intelligent. Be still my heart, quick me blade. Tis time for a duel. You and I'll make the mating dance of day. All right, I've got a little bit of suspension of disbelief here. How the heck they jumped up to the top portion of the mast and I already screwed up because I can't remember how to freaking do this part. Dang it. Yeah, I got a little bit of a suspension of disbelief problem here, considering they jumped up to the top portion of a mast of a pirate ship, and I still can't figure out how to do this. Alright, I gotta do the high attack instead of the low attack. But you know what? I'm gonna let it go, because it actually makes for a surprisingly fun um, little mini-game right here. A little sword fighting mini-game. Obviously, it's extremely simple once you get the controls correct, which I struggle with. Get back here. Penelope's so BA in this in this part. Um, you just jump and duck, but he telegraphs all of his moves, and then when he's done attacking, he'll start guarding either high or low. You have to make the determination whether he's guarding high or low, and attack the opposite direction. And again, it's really telegraphed, so it's not too hard. You just have to pay attention well enough. Um, like the first section, as you noticed, he always went low, and he guarded low. I mean, guarded, yeah, he guarded low. Yeah. And in the second section, he always goes high and guards high. Stand and take it. Penelope, just, just keep being a BA. It's awesome. However, in the third section is when the no. actual kind of sword fighting actually begins. He begins going uh, different each time. He's not just attacking low or just attacking high. He's not just guarding low or just guarding high. He actually tries, he changes it up, which is, of course, a nice change of pace. You do want a boss battle, especially the la boss battle of the last true kind of formulaic episode of sl of this Sly Cooper game. You kind of want it to be a little challenging. Obviously, it's not that bad. It's, in terms of boss battles, 
It's really simple. Just pay attention. Why do I keep getting hit? I'm supposed to be good at this, kind of. Jeez. All right. No, don't jump. All right. Hi. I mean, low. I. You know what? I'm not even gonna try to figure out what I'm doing. I'm just gonna focus here for like two seconds so that I can actually knock Lafui off this freaking last mast. Obviously the last mast, the way a mast is set up, the high beam is always going to be shorter than the lowest beam, and the middle beam is all obviously a medium size, so the high, the lower you get, the more, the longer it's going to take for you to actually knock Lafui off. Luckily it's only a three phase boss battle. Uh, they do well to teach you what you're looking for for each uh, attack he's going to do, how to, how he's going to guard. I just wish they could have changed it up a little bit more, probably made like a fourth section where it's even more difficult, but I guess not. And I believe he's being eaten alive. That's, that sounds like he's being eaten alive. Uh, so that's a little weird. I don't, I don't, I, I don't like that in my rated E games. But oh well, we took care of him once and for all. Lafui was beat, outsmarted by our own resident genius, who'd done more than just rescue a team member, he'd won himself a girlfriend. It was nice to hear him talk. They'd have these conversations the rest of us couldn't even follow. As far as I could tell, they were made for each other. Dimitri was in love too. The new diving gear had gone to his head. We were informed that he'd be our frogman for the Cooper Vault job. Not that any of us had even asked him. For the first time in memory, Carmelita didn't show up and cart everyone to jail. Oh well, I'll send her a postcard. You know, I'd hate to have her feel left out. Alright, that's, that's, that's the perfect ending to this. So... Dimitri's joined us. We've got the last missing piece of our gang. And you know what that means. That means the assault on the Cooper Vault is finally at hand. That's right. The final episode of Sly 3 begins in the next part. It's called Honor Among Thieves, just like the game is titled, so you know it's important. And we'll take that on next time. So, thank you guys all very much for watching. I'll see all of you guys next time.